Welcome to our advanced exploration of Microsoft Excel. In this video, we'll look at the IF function and how you can use it in your Excel spreadsheets. Now, in this video, I'm going to start talking through the IF function, and this starts getting into some quite advanced functionality of Excel. Let me quickly give you a demonstration, and then I'll show you exactly how to use it in your own spreadsheets. So first of all, F2 to edit equals if brackets, and let's say B23 equals zero, comma, please enter shipping, comma, thank you, close brackets, enter. Okay, so what that formula does is it checks B23. If B23 is zero, if I change that to zero and press enter, that changes to zero, and this changes to please enter shipping. If I change this to anything which isn't zero, so let's say $5, it says thank you. Obviously that isn't hugely useful as a response, so let's edit it to make it more useful. So F2 to edit. So let's change thank you to C22 plus B23. So C22 plus B23. So now you see if I change this to zero, it says, please enter shipping, and if I change it to $10, it now gives the total of this plus this, the shipping, for the grand total of this particular package. So how does that work? First of all, you need to do equals if. Then, within brackets, is the function. And there are three parts to the function. And what I'll do is I'll work on it here so it's all on one line. There are three parts of the function, and each part is broken up by a comma. So the first part is what you're looking for. So if B23 equals zero, pretty easy. If the value of B23 is zero, then please fill this cell with this, please enter shipping. So basically, you're asking this. You're asking a yes or no question. That's effectively what you're asking. You're asking yes or no. If the answer is yes, then this happens. If the answer is no, then this happens, the last part of the formula. So essentially, the question is, does B23 equal zero? If yes, then please enter the text in the cell, and it's important with any text that you put it within double quotes. Otherwise, if we get rid of the double quotes, and let's change that to zero, and yes, it gives us this error message. So text needs to be within double quotes. Okay, then you see you can also have formulas further formulas within the IF function. So all I've done here is C22 plus B23, very straightforward. So basically, if B23 does not equal zero, then this happens. The value of C22 is added to the value of B23 and is displayed. So if I change this to 10, there you go, it becomes 40. And you can change this. You can change this. You can use greater than or less than. For example, if B23 is less than or lower than 5, and we can change this to accurate shipping, so if the value of B23 is lower than 5, please enter accurate shipping. And if it's above 5, 
then give the total. So zero. And there's our message. And actually, let's just stretch this row out a bit. There we go. So change this to one and message still there. Change it to two and message still there. Three, four, five, and then it starts working. So lastly, let's go back to the if function and let's just make some last edits to make it pretty much as practical as possible. So really, if B23 equals zero is fine, and let's say, please enter correct shipping price in B23. So, okay, if B23 equals zero, then the message, please enter correct shipping price in B23 appears. If it does not equal zero, then what we want is the sum of C22 and B23. And we want to keep the absolute position of B23. We don't want it to keep changing. So put a dollar sign before the B and before the 23. Press enter. And there we go. So now if we take shipping back to zero, and that's the full message, please enter correct shipping price in B23. Change this to, let's say, $15, and that's fine. And now that this is proven to work, I can copy and paste this, select these cells, Control V to paste. And OK, it's pasted into those cells, and that's useful to do because there is a slight mistake, as has become very clear. So let's edit the original formula. We want to add dollar signs here before the B and the 23 because what's happened with these cells is that Excel has automatically changed B23 to C23, D23, and so on. And obviously, that's not right. So B and 23 are locked positions. We don't want that to change. So dollar sign before the B and before the 23. So if the absolute position B23 equals zero, please show this message. Otherwise, C22 plus B23. So now, change this to zero. That's fine. Change this to a value above one, or above zero rather, and that's fine. So let's copy that, select these, paste, and that all looks fine. And if I change this to zero again, the message appears for all the cells. If I change it to 15, the correct totals appear. 30 plus 15 equals 45. And for this one, 14 plus 15 equals 29. So that's all correct. And as we round out this video, other options you have with if, you can do, for example, lower than, the lower than symbol. So if B23 is lower than or less than zero, or there's the more than, the more than symbol, and of course, as demonstrated, the equal sign. And you can also do more advanced options. For example, here, C22, this total, so C22 times B23, and we want to keep B23 locked, so dollar sign B, dollar sign 23. So if C22 times B23 equals zero, okay, that's fine. And if we change this to zero, that works fine. And change this value away from zero. And okay, that formula works fine. However, it's somewhat redundant doing it this way because you can just say if B23 equals zero. But I just wanted to demonstrate that you can have more sophisticated formulas in this first part of the if function 
and still it remains a yes or no question. If yes, then display what's here, the first option, and if no, then display what's here.